welcome to the Morning Magazine, our RFES morning show. Today is Thursday, October 28th. It is Rotation Day 4. I'm your anchor, John M. Let's get our day started with the Pledge of Allegiance and the Code of Conduct. Doing the pledge today are students from Ms. Donnellan's class. Please introduce yourselves. My name is Aiden. Max. Dahlia. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance for the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the Rogers Forge Code of Conduct. I am a Rogers Forge student, therefore, I am respectful, I am responsible, I am safe, I am prepared. Please be seated. Hey, now you can hear me. Good morning, Rogers Forge. Today is Thursday, and tomorrow is the Halloween party. And they are calling for 100% chance of rain. So, I know, womp womp. I know, womp womp, but you know what I always say? It might be raining outside, but the sun is always shining inside Rogers Forge. And guess what? That's what's going to happen tomorrow. Because even though it's raining outside or will be raining, and you know, you never know, maybe weather forecasts change, we'll still parade inside. You'll have an opportunity to view it virtually, and then you'll get an opportunity to walk through the building. And I know I went over that with everybody yesterday, and I'll double check with teachers today. But even more fun is since parents aren't able to watch it from the parade route outside, they can log in to the Google Meet and they can see the parade happening inside the building. So we're always looking for silver linings, as Mrs. Rowland says, so we are going to try to make that happen for everyone. Very cool seeing all that athletic gear today. I see a lot of soccer fans coming in, as well as football and baseball and basketball and your own uh, clinic teams that you play on and rec teams. So awesome job today. Remember, for Athletic Day, we want to make sure that we are promoting the healthy choices of exercise and getting outside as often as possible. So I am, again, looking forward to tomorrow. Before I sign off, we've got some peacemakers to share. I always love this stack, and I love that there are a lot of specific reasons why these people are being nominated. So again, teachers help us with making sure that those things are specific. Congratulations to Dahlia from Miss Donnellan's class, nominated by Elodie for the virtue of forgiveness. She said that she forgave her, so it is important to forgive others. We all make mistakes, boys and girls. Grayson, congratulations to you. You're nominated by your first grade teacher, Mrs. Thomas, for the virtue of responsibility for helping a friend on the playground when they were hurt. Xavier in Ms. Paris's first grade class is being nominated by Chisholm for the virtue of friendliness, for giving me a compliment and using good manners. <gasps> Mr. Holden, whoop, 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 gets to sign the board. He's nominated by Fiona, who's in Miss Delgatti's class for the virtue of friendliness, for giving me a compliment. Do you remember what that compliment was? For great book choices. I that's great. That's awesome. Jeremy, third grader in Miss Rickles class, nominated by Nora for friendliness for playing with me at recess. Naomi, fourth grader in Miss Trainer's class, nominated by Addie for the virtue of helpfulness. When my pencil sharpener spilled everywhere, she got a towel for me and helped me clean it up. That could be a mess when that dumps all over the floor. Another teacher signing the board. Mrs. Ludwig, you are nominated by Willa for just being a great teacher, but she did circle the following virtues, respect, responsibility, friendliness, trust, reliability, and service. So congratulations to all of our peacemakers. That is 
definitely one of my favorite parts of every day. Make it a great day of learning, everyone, and as always, remember to be kind. Time to go look up birthdays for today. There are no RFES birthdays today, so that means everyone will have a happy, great unbirthday. Hope, hope you all have a great day. Miss Trainer, what are you doing? I'm working on my golf swing. Don't you think I'm getting better? Why? I want to be a math master. Miss Trainer, that has nothing to do with golf. It doesn't? No, it has to do with your math facts. Well, can you help me practice my math? Oh, facts? I would love to help you. Can we do multiplication? Yes, I'm ready. All right, what is eight times one? Eight. What is eight times two? Sixteen. What is eight times three? Twenty-four. What is eight times four? I don't know, Miss Gannis. I think well, I need to practice. You can practice. I'll practice with you. Oh, wonderful! I would love to help. I'd love to have you help me. Guess what? And if you master your multiplication facts, yes. you get a golf ball that you'll need to put your initials on, and then you'll be able to put it onto. Of course. On the place where I was practicing my multiplication, my age fact. Exactly. Wonderful. Boys and girls, you too can add your stickers with your initials to our course for Math Masters. Your teachers will let you know what your goal is and when to begin. Four. Let's go. I love seeing all those sportswear today. Don't forget to get outside and moving today. And sometimes you have to move and think fast. Tomorrow's Fall Friendship Friday. Dress up and celebrate togetherness. We want to thank you for joining us today on Morning Magazine. Let's get our Thursday off to an amazing start. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow for another great show. For my birthday reporter, Arch H, I'm John M. wishing you a great day.